Similarly, we now calculate WVB and WVB is 8V0, then the three integrals and sine squared pi x over a sine squared. Okay, we have to keep in mind this thing that this is b b so this is basically 1 2 1 so this will become sine square 2 pi and y over a and sine squared and pi z over a and then the corresponding delta functions will come in delta x minus a over 4 delta y minus a over 2 and delta z minus 3 a over 4 dx dy and dz here. So this thing is equal when I will put sine pi over a x is a over 4. So a over 4 a gan pi over 4 1 over square root 2 and it will come out to be 8 v naught and 1 over 2. While the next one, the next one will come out here. This is 2 pi, this and I write for y a over 2. So a over 2, a and a cancel, 2, 2 cancelled. So I have sine pi, sine pi is 0. And square of it is 0 as well. So this term has become 0. Although this term will give some value, but that term has gone 0. So it means we got WBB equal to 0. That term will also be half, but it is meaningless to calculate because one term has come out to be 0. So BB we have calculated. Now we calculate WCC, the diagonal elements all we are calculating. So 8 V0, the three integrals and sine squared. Now we will have to think of this thing. This is CC, means it is 2 double 1. So sine squared, this will come out to be 2, 2 pi x over a while the rest will be just n equal to 1 sub pi y over a and then sine squared pi z over a and then their corresponding delta x minus a over 4 y minus a over 2 and z minus 3a over 4 and dx dy and dz. Now 8 v naught here then come over here when x is a over 4 so a over 4 then a a cancels 2 2 simplifies so pi by 2 pi by 2 is 1 so we got here is 1 for the x. Now for the y. y is a over 2. So a gone pi over 2 and again this will give us 1. While the z is giving us z is 3a over 4. So we got a a cancelled and 3 pi over 4 will be 1 over square root 2 and squaring of it will give us 1 over 2. So the WCC is equal to 4 V naught. So we got the WAA equal to 4 V naught. We got the WCC equal to 4 V naught while WBB is equal to 0. And now we come toward the W A B here. W A B and 
this let me write this thing that what it will be it will be psi 1 and then this is w a so it will be w 1 and then 1 1 here and this will be 2 here with us so we will have to keep this thing in mind that well this will be psi b is psi w a b means that it will be psi a with psi b so it will be 1 1 2 and h prime and psi 1 2 1 it will be this combination. So W A W A B it will be equal to eight V naught and let me let me simply write this thing means without writing all this let me write this thing that we have psi one one so it will be sine square pi x over a and it will be just pi over 4 so I can write sine square pi over 4 then the next term it is 1 and 2 here so when it is 1 and 2 so we will get two terms here and that will be uh, if I could uh, write this thing with 2 here, then it will be much easier. Okay. Let me, let me write it in a complete form because uh, this will be uh, then confusing. There are two terms now involved. So let me write. So this is equal to 8 V naught and then we have integral and the limit is understood that it is from 0 to a for 1 1 I will write sine square so it is sine squared pi x over a and then it will have its delta with it is x minus a over 4 dx Similarly, the next one, it will be 1 and 2. So, with one sign, it will come out to be sine and pi because it is 1 here. So, y is equal to 1 and sine pi y over a. Then, it will be multiplied with 2 here. So it will be sine 2 pi y over a and this will be with delta y minus a over 2 and then another integral and this integral okay in here we will have dy as well then another integral and sine with 2 here sine 2 pi z over a here and sine here it's 1 so it will be sine pi z over a and here it will be the delta and a it is here the delta z minus 3 over 4 z minus 3 a over 4 and d z here so i will now calculate this one so this thing is equal to 8 v naught and then here a over 4 a a gone 5 over 4 1 over square root 2 square so we will get 1 over 2 here and now here this one when I put y equal a over 2 so 
a a gone pi over 2 pi over 2 sin pi over 2 and this is equal to 1 then the other one this one this is sin and y a over 2 and a gone 2 2 gone and sin pi and this has become 0 so I don't need to calculate the rest whatever they are for the z and w a b comes out to be equal to 0 so w a b is 0 and now let me calculate w a c so w a c is equal I will have to write uh, this thing now it will be a c so I will have to write like this that a means psi 1 1 2 and h prime and c means psi 2 1 1 so there is 1 2 and then 1 1 the same 2 1 so in y we are having the similarity while in x and z we are having different terms here so I can write now in this manner but as I have written for this one I will now write not is like this one but I will write directly that this is a to v naught and what we will get of the sign because sign is 1 2 now so it will not be square but sign with 1 and sign with 2 so it is equal sine with 1 will come out to be sine 5 by 4 sine 5 by 4 and sine with 2 will come out to be sine 5 by 2 sine the next one is it is 1 here and it is 1 here so it means it will be sine square in y so sine square in y will come out to be sine square pi by 2 sine square pi by 2 and here it is in the z1 it is 2 here and 1 here so this will generate two terms and this is sine 3 pi by 2 sine 3 pi by 2 and sine sine 3 pi by 4 because if this is 3 pi by 2 the other one is 1 so we have sine 3 pi by 4 there is no extra 2 here so this thing is then equal to if I do simplify this then this thing is equal 8 v naught this thing is equal to 1 over square root 2 this thing is equal to 1 this thing is equal to 1 because sine pi by 2 we know it is equal to 1 this 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 and 3 pi by 4 is again 1 over square root 2 so after multiplication this is 1 over 2 and 1 over 2, so it will become 1 over 2, so it is 4, minus 4 v naught. So we got the value equal is minus 4 v naught. And similarly, we calculate which elements are remaining. We calculated uh, w a a we calculated w b b we calculated w c c then we calculated w a b and we calculated w a c w a c so what about w uh, BC and WBC. So BC is different. WAC is 
this one and what about WCA? We will have to calculate that one as well. So WCA will come out to be, you can uh, prove this thing, I will write this thing here, that W, this comes out to be W, AC and this is equal to CA as well. CA also comes out to be minus 4V0. So we have calculated this CA as well. And we calculate now WBC. And WBC comes out to be the same as WCB. And you can Okay, we can calculate this one as well, WBC. WBC is equal, now it is B and C. So we have psi and then B is here, so this is 1 to 1, H prime. And C is here, so this is psi 2, 1, 1. And now we do calculate this one. So we have 8 V naught. And then for the X term, we will have two terms, 1 and 2. And then for the Y, we will have two terms, 2 and 1. And while the Z, we will have just square term, one term, and it will become square. So the first term, X will give sine 5 by 4 is usual and then sine 5 by 2 we have done over here as well then the 2 1 term will give sine 5 and sine 5 when comes in then we don't care for the other term whatever it is but sine 5 is here so this will make the thing equal to zero. And this is also the same when we calculate CB. Because in CB we will again have, means the other term will give us that combination. Uh, C and B, so C it will be 2 here and B it will be here. So we will it will again give us 0. This is 0 for what? For WCB. So we have found BC and CB. So all the elements we have found and now we are going to find out the first order correction to the energies by calculating the eigenvalues from the determinants. So after erasing this one, I will write the W values, uh, means the matrix element again and then we will calculate those values.